When editing images in Photoshop, it's always a good idea to work non-destructively. We do this using adjustment layers, masks, and smart objects. And that allows us to make infinite adjustments without messing up the original photo. But when it comes to cropping the image, we have to use a slightly different technique to accomplish this. For this example, I'm using a 22 megabyte raw file. To crop in so that we don't lose any of the surrounding image area, we'll start by going into the Layers palette. We'll double click on the background, convert that background to a layer. Then we'll go up to Image, Canvas Size, and type in a value that we'd like to crop the photo to, in this case 8 by 7 inches. Click OK and you'll get a dialog box that warns you that you're going to be clipping off some of the image, but you won't because it's a layer. As you can see, you can move around the image and you haven't lost anything. We just have a new canvas size to work in. Now if you'd like, you can go back in and change that canvas size. Here we'll try, let's say, 6 by 4 inches. And again, the canvas size has changed, but notice the megabyte size of the file has stayed the same. 22 megabytes for the layered file and about 4 megabytes for the flattened file. And see, you can still move around within that image area. Now for this example, let's, let's say we want to do a horizontal image. We'll do 10 inches wide, 6 inches tall. Now we can move around the image until we get it positioned exactly where we want it to be. And then we'll save it. Now we're going to save two copies. We're going to save a layered Photoshop file as the original. This will be the non-destructive file. That way you can go back in anytime you want and change it. We'll also save out another version in whatever format you'd like, such as JPEG or EPS. And you can also change it to TIFF, but make sure you deselect layers. When you're finished, what you should have is a fully editable layered Photoshop file, which you can go back and change anytime you want. You should also have a flattened image which is much smaller and cropped to the canvas size. 